Service principal names or SPNs sound kind of confusing. What are they and what do they do? Well, basically they just list any services that might be running under a specific object or account. Take a look, here's an account right here, test one, test two, test three. Another account could be the administrator account. And under computers, you could have accounts there as well. There's the domain controller right there for domain controllers and under computers, we see all these different computers here as well. What's really useful about SPNs is that it tells us what may be running under that particular account. Now, it's not as useful under user accounts, but sometimes it can give us some information, but it's super useful for computer accounts. First, we type in set SPN, and then I'm gonna do a list, a dash L. Now, I wanna do a list of a particular user account, so I'll type in dash U for user account, and I'll just type in administrator. Here we see the registered service principal name for the administrator is administrator users my domain int. If I moved the administrator out of the users OU or folder into another OU or folder, then it would change that second CN into another location. But other than that, it's going to pretty much stay the same. Unless, of course, I rename the administrator to another name altogether. Now, the really interesting thing happens when we do this same type of command, but instead of dash U, we do a dash C. And now I'm going to type in the name of my domain controller. So I'll type in yt-dc1 and press enter. Here's all the different services that are running under this particular server, starting out with DFSR at the top. DFSR, Distributed File System, is going to tell us that, oh, this is a domain controller, and it is replicating Active Directory information to other domain controllers. We also have LDAP, which is doing uh, lookups for various different users, depending on the type of service that's looking for it. Underneath that, we see, oh, it's running Terminal Server, which is now called Remote Desktop Services. But they haven't really changed the name of that over the years after they changed the name TermServe. And it's running DNS, a global catalog, all those different things all the way down the line. So if you're wondering what services are running under a particular server, all you have to do is use that set SPN command to give you a list of all of those services. You can go in and add additional services, delete services, things like that. But most of the time, this is used to look up what services are running. Let's do another computer just to see what's running on that. And here you can see this one is definitely not a domain controller. And that's because it's not running any global catalog services. It's not running any LDAP services or Kerberos or anything else like that. But it is running Hyper-V Replica. So it is running Hyper-V for virtual machines. If this was a web server, you'd also see the www for web services or any other type of services that may be running on this particular server. Service principal names come to us from the authentication protocol Kerberos. This was created along when Kerberos was added into Active Directory. This is an identifier for a particular service offered by a particular host or user within an Active Directory domain. 